All right, guys, another day working on the van. It's finally, well, I always feel like I say it's finally because we're slowly making progress on it, but the solar panels, we're finally getting power on the roof. And I don't know why I'm holding this Sharpie. Boom, look at that, it's gone, hands-free now. <laughs> Okay guys, so how we're doing this right now is my good old buddy again, Zach, here to help again. We got our ladders and pretty much how we're doing this right now, don't recommend climbing a ladders and vlogging, but we've got on the roof, we've got our two 200 watt solar panels. I'm honestly a little skeptical. They say 200 watt, but most things I see is like 160 or 170 and then they're a lot bigger. We'll actually see what the final output of this is. I've got a couple of these um, Renogy solar panel mounting brackets and just got them off of Amazon. But what we're going to just do, just in camera, boop, 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 boop. I've already, as you can see, I've drawn kind of the lines where we're going to sand because this roof has to get refinished anyways. But we're going to pretty much be putting these just like that. And I'm actually going to, instead of drilling into the fiberglass shell, fiberglass top, hole, what do you want to call it? No, holes the bottom of a boat. Um, top shell of this van, we're actually going to be using a turnabond tape and actually putting strips of tape over these. What do you think? Yeah? Mm. Yeah, it's cool. Why not? Something to do inside. I swear, he's skeptical of my craftsman work. <laughs> It's down right now and we're now using we've got a freshly sanded surface and now we're using these Eternabon strips that I've cut and now this stuff is so, this is like honestly the most stickiest stuff I've ever like dealt with so now it's just trying to get everything lined up properly and then stick it down we've got four down and I have to do eight more so and it's like the sun's almost set too. <laughs> right, next day guys, back at it here with the van. That's behind me, right back there -ish somewhere. My plan is today, boom. One, we're gonna put the solar panels back on, get them fully bolted down, then maybe do some driving around the town, see how they hold up. Number two, um, I had to get a piece of wood cut to go behind the bed actually, so I can mount my charge controller, my solar charge controller there. So that's the second thing I'm hoping to get hooked up today as well. So without further ado, let's get to it. <laughs> Done. As in like the solar panels are actually mounted to the roof now. I haven't actually connected them. As you can tell, they're like still, I mean, technically I guess they're getting power, but there's no power running through any of the system because I don't have the rest of the system hooked up right now. And the next part is getting the piece, of, the backing on the bed of wood, which will then hold the charge controller. Hear that. And then from there I can attach the wires from these solar panels. To the solar charge controller so we're gonna do that next and tell me what you want this time i won't take it to the because i know you won't make it out i've heard it all before yeah tell me what you want then me that i'm the only one you know that we won't make it out we've heard it all So we officially have 
power going to the charge controller now. However, the only thing we have to figure out is actually how much power is going to it. So that's the, that's the next step. I guess I should probably read the manual. All right, I'll do that next, and then we'll see what we're actually pulling from the panels. On somewhat of a actually sunny day, there's a little bit of clouds in the sky, but we'll see. We're gonna hook up now the Bluetooth module to it. I actually have a spot I was thinking of putting it. Right behind the bed right here, um, there actually used to be an old um, NES Nintendo NES controller game in here and that actually was a controller extension port so you could plug the video game into it So what I'm gonna just do is repurpose that like little mounting bracket and just attach the Bluetooth module right there And then that'll run right behind and connect to the charge controller got that mounted now I'm just gonna run the cable back to The charge controller and then hopefully I'll download the app and I'll have access on my phone at this thing Oh, guys, it's kind of a sad day. I'm I'm working on the van right now, and actually on the roof specifically. I had to take the solar panels off. A couple issues that I had with it over the few weeks that I was driving around with it is one, since there was about an inch of air or underneath the entire things, and they're flexible, once I got over like maybe 70 miles an hour, that wind would start making my solar panels like rattle a lot. Uh, and like to the point where like I was hearing them hitting the roof. So I was like, I, I didn't like that. That made me feel a little worrisome. And two, because it would get so much additional movement up there, the tape held great. It still was like super, that, that stuff is so sticky. I really wasn't worried about them getting ripped off by any means, but it just still was like an unsettling feeling. So I'm coming back to the drawing board and I have another way I'm gonna actually mount them and I've seen other people do it this way. I'm gonna skip kind of mounting brackets somewhat that kind of way. Hey, and I'm actually gonna mount it straight to the roof. And essentially how I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna sandwich it on the roof. I'm gonna cut out that corrugated plastic to the size of the solar panels, put that underneath, so it gives it like just like the smallest like quarter of an inch air barrier, just to prevent from, if it's like a hot day, getting extra heat from the bottom of the solar panel radio. Just gonna give it a nice little air pocket. Okay, let's get up to the top of that. I'm literally gonna show you guys how sticky this material is. Okay, like it's kind, not even that heated up, but it's kind of cold outside. It's like maybe like 50, it's like 60 here right now. This is me pulling on it. I'm, I'm like, I'm not even kidding. Like I'm actually really trying to pull up on this thing. Okay. Yeah, now back to heating this thing up. You can literally just see how like stretchy this material is. All right, there we go. Finished up the first panel. It's done. It's now bonded to the roof, and I'm already liking it a lot better. I definitely don't think this is going anywhere now with this on. So, gotta just sand the other side, and then I can put the second one down. I'm actually super happy with how these came out. Way better than they previously were, in my opinion. I think the other, I think these are just gonna work a lot well for my setup and scenario and stuff like that. So you could just see some of the corners. Hmm. 
I trimmed some of these edges just because I don't want them running down because it's a very it's a focal point right there which does need to get sanded and cleaned up but anyways Oh, and there we have it, you guys. Got the solar panels up. I'm a lot happier with how they are now. They seem a lot more sturdy and rigid up there. And honestly, I don't think they're going anywhere with that Eternamon tape all around the edge. So. I'm gonna say that's a job well done. Yes, we still have to do the inside electrical outlets, pretty much wiring everything else up in there, so that'll be next. Because I think there's just way too much stuff to show in one whole video. But if you guys are enjoying what I'm doing on this channel, you guys like the van build series, you wanna see it travel around more, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe as well. Those help me out as well. I'm always in the comment section too, seeing what you guys have to say. So hopefully, I'll see you guys on the next van build. Build. Van build. Later, guys.